think they look amazing. I'm so excited for Are you kidding? They look like shit. Go through the church song. Hey Fruit Bats, welcome to another episode. So today's video is on Tanya Burr. One of you Fruit Bats was asking me on Tumblr, have you seen what's on Tanya Burr's Snapchat story? It's disgusting. Her Snapchat is Tanya Burr Bear. So I flew over and I found her Instagram and I found her YouTube account. I was like, holy fuck, she's got 3.4 million subscribers on YouTube. She is reaching a lot of girls, a lot of people, a lot of young impressionable minds. Went to her Instagram. She has over 2.6 million followers on Instagram. So I'm like, how the heck did this girl get so famous? I couldn't work it out. So anyway, went to her videos, watched a few of them, was bored as fuck, but found this one, How to Make Homemade Pizza by Tanya Burr. I'm like, all right, let's see what pa Tanya Burr is going to put on this pizza. So let's play it and check it out together. Okay, oven is preheating. Now it's time to decorate. I'm, just going to I'm scared, sauce. to say the least. Really up to you how saucy you like your pizzas. I like that this much. I like saucy. And then we're just going to spread this out. So it should look a little bit like so this. Far, so far, so good. We've got one. tomato. Oh, it's okay. so good. Now it's time for cheese, and oh. I like to start with mozzarella, which is this cheese there here. There she you goes. Want your cheese to be mainly made up of mozzarella. And just sprinkle that Ooh, all over. A shit ton of mozzarella. Far out. That's a shit ton of. Rancid solidified bovine secretion, that's what cheese is, that's why you're eating a whole lot of pus, a lot of fat, a lot of hormones, a lot of disgusting shit. So, bad start. This is the best stage getting to decorate your pizzas. On to the other side. And now, I like to do a sprinkling of cheddar. You can do whatever cheese what? you like on your pizza, but I More think cheese? mozzarella with a sprinkle the of fuck? cheddar is just perfection. Holy shit. Okay, this is worse than I even imagined. She's putting a whole ton of this crap on there. I'm just thinking it's 2016 and this girl is like eating cheese. I mean, if you're still eating cheese and, and it's like crazy because it's just so unhealthy for you. So much research connecting with cancer. It's just really fucking unhealthy food. So cheese, let's have a look. So every sip of milk has 59 different powerful hormones. So these are naturally occurring hormones that are meant to be in the human body. These are in cows for cows, for the baby cow, not for humans, so they fuck up our hormonal system. Estrogen, progesterone, prolactin, to name a few. So the average American now consumes nearly 30 pounds of cheese each year. That product contains concentrated hormones. Yes, one pound of cheese can contain 10 times the amount of hormones as one pound of milk. So you're getting a shit ton of hormones that aren't meant to be in your body. They come in, they fuck up like your thyroid and other systems that are responsible for weight gain. And then you just blow out and you're wondering why. It's because you've got a whole lot of cow hormones floating around in your body, well, stuffing organic, up your hormonal well, system. Organic milk. organic milk doesn't matter. If it's naturally occurring, it does not matter. It's still going to fuck up your hormones because it's not meant to be in there. Antibiotics, 52 different antibiotics found in presence in the cheese, ice cream, yogurt. Um, dairy products in general. Cows are fed chicken feces as supplemental mm, protein. Mm. I've got a chicken feces deficiency. I need some more chicken feces in my life. The droppings are baked and sanitized. Well, that's good. At least the shit is baked and sanitized. It's got to be better if it's baked and sanitized. The heat process done, does not destroy the hormones in chicken feed. So then move on to the pus. So, so far we've got a ton of hormones. We've got Antibiotics, now we got pus. Yes, we got pus. So 750 million pus cells in every single liter of milk. So that means since it takes 10 pounds of milk to make one pound of cheese, a pound of cheese can contain up to 7.5 billion pus cells. Do you want more pus in your life? No, mm, you want more carbs. Fuck. What is she doing? I just cheese. If I, if I don't eat dairy products, won't I get a pus deficiency? Yeah, that's right. We all we want that. We want a pus deficiency. Let's go back to the pus pizza. Okay, so that is it 